introduction part where I tell you what the video is and try to say something clever to get you to watch the whole thing. I have little to nothing to offer on that front. I'm not confident, so let's just get through this. This is a Q&A video, and these questions were submitted via the Jetty Bones Patreon account. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now. So let us begin. What's your favorite hidden message from Hyphen? When you get the Hyphen vinyl, it comes with a transparent insert that has lyrics on it. The intention behind the transparent sheet was that you could lay it on top of the record and all of the little bubbles in the album art would actually circle certain lyrics to make poems. And there's also the underlines in the back. It's kind of the same thing. As for picking a favorite, it's definitely the last one and the rest of them. I don't want to completely strip everybody of their opportunity to try to find these messages themselves. During production, it did get a little messed up. So they don't completely line up. Everyone is shut in their house and what a great time to try to figure these out yourself. What inspired the secret messages for Hyphen? Um, I sometimes I just, I like, I like being sneaky. I've actually always been a huge fan of hiding little Easter eggs in everything I've ever done. The original packaging that was like a DIY hand numbered packaging for the Crucial States release show actually even came with a map that shows you what every state represents. So there are some things buried throughout the discography that unless you were at the show and you have this, you won't find them. I'm a sneaky bitch. I'm a sneaky bitch. Where do you get all your supplies for making glitter? So when I decided to make my own cosmetic glitter, there are three things that were really important to me. One is that I wanted to use packaging that was either made from recycled materials or packaging that could be recycled. I wanted to use as much biodegradable glitter as I possibly could. Obviously, it needed to be cosmetic grade. Say you go to a craft store, buy a bunch of glitter and try sticking it around your eyes, it can literally blind you. Finding cost-efficient biodegradable glitter was not as easy as I hoped. I sourced my glitter from an online wholesaler. There's actually three different sites that I use that sell cosmetic grade glitter. Other people can put your art on their face of art. It's Craft City, bitch. Which one is my favorite? The silver rainbow Betty glitter that I made. If you put a really thick streak, it actually has kind of a holographic rainbow effect and it kind of matches everything. Everybody wins just a little bit. Nexty question. If you could cast any actor as a human version of your cat, who would it be? Cole Sprouse. Just cuz. Do you think Cole Sprouse could play you? What's the coolest piece of fan art you've gotten? Whew. Friendship. I'll show you some stuff because I, I keep all of it. These are some cool little things that I do. I have like a little section of things in my living room that are all like little like fan gifts and stuff um this guy he came in a purse that is shaped like a paw print we've got paintings from people albie theme stuff i love it all the white cat things i also keep every single handwritten letter that anybody has ever given me what city have you performed in that pleasantly surprised you or was more fun than you initially thought boston the first couple times i played there I didn't know anybody there liked us, so a very pleasant surprise. So the first time we finally got to play at Bottom of the Hill, people were really excited, and I had a really emotional, um, spiritual experience when I was there. That was tight. You did it so good. My favorite musicals, obviously the musical episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Hello Dolly and Bye Bye Birdie. Those are my favorite musicals. What are some activities you're doing to pass the time during COVID-19? This. In this, I'm doing this too. What are some self-care routines that you incorporate on tour to help you stay physically, emotionally, and mentally fit? <clears throat> well, physically, have you seen our show? Sleep is so, so important. I have, a, I have a tour journal that I keep and I try to write in that almost every day. If I'm trying to process or break something down in my head that is kind of making me feel emotionally unwell. Keeping up with my church services. I do I take care of myself? Do I take care of myself on tour? Mm. I think I actually have to work harder to take care of myself when I'm home. On tour, I'm in this place where I feel like I have 
genuine purpose and I'm connecting with people and I am exercising every day, which is hard to do when I'm not getting paid for it. Yes, I try to stay hydrated, avoid caffeine. And what is your favorite album and the album that has impacted you the most? Can I like talk to you about this later? This question is too hard. Give me a few minutes. What is all the spoken dialogue in Second Death in the Rabbit Hole? All of the spoken dialogue in the background is just the Revelation verse, which is the tattoo that I have on my wrist. It's scripture. Baby, it's scripture. So the version of the Bible that I used for this was the message version. It's Revelation 21.4 to 21.8, I believe. What is your pre-show routine? I have one. First couple tours I did, I didn't have one. I felt so discombobulated every single time we started. As soon as doors opened, I hide. I hide from everybody. Connect with how I'm feeling emotionally that day to make me feel grounded. Drink a ton of water. Then I pray. I use a vocal humidifier. One of those things that covers your whole face. And do lots of jumping jacks. Get excited. Close my eyes. And then the last five minutes I interact. You made a My Favorite Murder reference on stage when I saw you in Connecticut a few years back. What are some podcasts that you listen to that aren't MFM? I listen to Beautiful Anonymous. I said no gifts. Up and Vanished. My pastor actually just came out with a podcast called The Rest. It is good. It is really good. True Crime Junkie. Supernatural. Next question. Besides your own albums, is there a release that you're looking forward to this year? No. Have you rediscovered any old favorite albums while in self-isolation? No. Have you played Animal Crossing New Horizons yet? No. Any new hobbies you're interested in starting? No. A long time ago, you asked Twitter if anyone could guess your three favorite bands. I made a few very educated guesses, but we never got the final answer. So who are they? That is for me to know and for nobody to ever find out. Top three shows you played. Picking a favorite show that I played is kind of like picking favorite baby except like the baby is not just yours it like belongs to a lot of people and we all like have a baby together except like I also have a lot of other babies with like a lot of other people and I don't want to pick a favorite baby because you don't want those babies to find out and those other babies will get really sad and then the people you're co-parenting the babies with will be like really upset really disappointed and they're like why are we raising the best baby like what can we do to get better although that could be used as motivation to like have better babies together so um no just who I am now. Uh, sometimes I don't know if he loves me or if it's just like I'm his human heating pad. Ouch. We talked about this. Not unless they asked for it. Yup, yup. What? I could die here and he would be totally fine with it. <laughs> Is this really how we're gonna do this? done.